is now 10 minutes before the hour and time for the tropical update. And we began with an article on the website of the UK Telegraph about Hurricane Igor in Haiti. Now the Telegraph said, unfortunately, that quote, the Category 4 hurricane is expected to hit Haiti within 48 hours. When in fact, the projections have always put the path of Hurricane Igor a good 500 miles to the northeast of Haiti. The article also said that Haiti issued an orange alert for flooding, but that's because of a tropical disturbance passing to the south of Haiti and not because of Igor. We mentioned this because we realized that this was a huge error, and we are very sensitive to the fact that the island nation of Haiti is still recovering from a devastating earthquake, and we want them to know that there is not a Category 4 storm coming in two days. Now, with that said, we do want to mention that a new tropical storm has just formed in the Western Caribbean. And with more details, here's me. Thanks, Vivian. And that's the one that brought that orange alert there to Haiti. It's a tropical storm Carl in the Western Caribbean. But this is Eagle, a long, long way from Haiti. And it's, it's good that uh, that website did issue that explanation. This is a Category 4 hurricane. and actually has gained a little bit of strength today. And then right behind it, we have Hurricane Julia. 85 mile an hour winds and expected to get stronger. Tropical Storm Carl. It's uh, not far away from making landfall here and probably will do so sometime tomorrow along the coast of Mexico. 270 miles to the east of the Mexican shoreline. 40 mile an hour winds, so wind not going to be a big, big factor with Carl. Rain will, and we might even see a little coastal flooding too. So it is moving closer and closer here to the coastline. The hurricane hunters went into this today, found tropical storm force winds, found a closed circulation, and so we have now our 11th named storm of the 2010 hurricane season. The projected path of Carl actually takes it in tomorrow here and then over the Yucatan Peninsula back toward the Gulf of Mexico, giving it a chance to move up a very warm water again and that should help it strengthen. Strengthen so much that we'll probably have a 65 mile an hour tropical storm on our hands before it makes landfall sometime late Friday and on into Saturday morning along the Mexican shoreline. Looks like Texas might even get some moisture from that. Then we've got Igor. It is out over the open waters, 145 mile an hour winds in the center. Got up to 150 yesterday. Didn't quite make it to Category 5 strength, but it is a well-developed hurricane and will continue to be so for the next several days. Good news is, it is going to move off toward the northwest and we're going to find it eventually making its way toward the north. So staying away from the United States, but we got to watch out for Bermuda. It still could feel the effects of a very powerful hurricane.